Kreuzberg traditionally is an area um, in Berlin where people are politically very aware, where people are critical towards existing systems and where people are discussing and looking for alternatives to the existing systems. Therefore Kreuzberg is actually a perfect ground for Bitcoin um, to arrive and to reach people and to convince them. What attracts me to Bitcoin is the, the, the possibility to be in control of my own money and to transfer that money without anybody say so across the whole world in split minutes or seconds with zero fees. Bitcoin really is the first global money we have. It, Bitcoin is something that could be from a science fiction novel, but we're having it today and not in 20 years. Looking at the way the economy is going and the way that we're dealing with it, I don't really trust having my money in the banks. Um, I think, you know, maybe two years ago, I might have felt less strongly about that, but after seeing what happened in Cyprus, I feel very strongly that we really can't trust the institutions that are around us. I've used Bitcoin to buy a bunch of things. Honey from Thailand. I've bought some historic flags from the United States. Of course, I've bought my beer and my burgers here at the bar. I've bought gold and silver Bitcoin. I've bought a, con uh, a ticket for a concert next week in Berlin. I first came across Bitcoins because two Spanish friends of mine who were very worried about the way the economy was going in Spain decided to invest their inheritance in Bitcoins. It was 30,000. Uh, they're not rich people, so I found that pretty shocking. And I thought it was a huge gamble. Um, that was about three and a half years ago now. Something like 30,000 has gone to 600,000. So they did very well. <laughs> what we're working on establishing, uh, as I believe, the world's first Bitcoin-based uh, local economy, using Bitcoin as an alternative local currency with global reach, a Bitcoin neighborhood, as we call it. I'm not that far familiar with Bitcoin so far. We just started two months ago to accept it. The advantages of the Bitcoin payment is is that uh, it's so easy, it's fast. I don't have to sit down on the computer and uh, lock myself in into a bank account. Bitcoin scares people in suits, which I like. We're a punk rock brewery. <laughs> Being able to go to um, Asia, America, South America, wherever you want to go, and being able to pay with uh, one currency would be a nice thing for this world. Lots of bankers would get bankrupt. <laughs> I decided to accept bitcoins because um, it's an easy way of um, digital payments and it doesn't mean that I have to pay others a certain percentage of my money, more or less, in order to get the, the money on my account. It is interesting to see that there is not a specific typical bitcoin payer. It's several, it's random people. So I don't think there's a prototype bitcoin payer. It's not only nerds, let me put it that way. <laughs> gut an meinen ersten Bitcoin Verkauf erinnern, das war eine Tom Waits, die Big Time. Daran kann ich mich erinnern, weil ich bei der Kaufabwicklung selbst ein bisschen Probleme hatte und es nicht sofort geklappt hat. Und das zweite Album war ein Beatles Album, eine Beatles Compilation von 1967. Gibt es eine sehr beliebte Band aus Kreuzberg? Bellamy, das ist eine alte Kreuzberger Band. Kreuzberg ist ein politisches Zentrum für Proteste, sei es gegen Gentrifizierung heute als auch in den 70ern ähm, 
im Rahmen der Instandbesetzer-Szene und zeichnet sich durch ein kritisches, linkes politisches Bewusstsein aus und die Bitcoin-immanente Systemkritik bettet sich in dieses politische Bewusstsein im Grunde ein. Und deswegen denke ich, wird es erfolgreich hier. On Wednesday, online services and exchanges dealing with Bitcoin did come under sustained cyber attacks. Now, it led to the value of Bitcoin to drop by almost 20%. Yeah, the crash is extremely interesting because it really highlights how different Bitcoin is from a standard currency. The spe speculation part of Bitcoin has been over-reported over in the news. We have now come back to the levels that were deemed um, high in the past couple of months, so I think we've returned to the normal price or even slightly above that, but the underlying value is still there. Bitcoin to me represents an opportunity to transform the way that we deal with the flows of wealth and human energy. Uh, I would look at these, uh, these spikes and corrections really as the birth pangs uh, of an entirely new system. <laughs> I'm gonna pay my bill now. It is 10 euros. I pop up the code. I scan it. I press send. And... Kaching! There are certain reasons that could make one believe that uh, there are flaws to our current economic and financial system to which Bitcoin or something like Bitcoin could be the solution. So every day we do not start using a free currency like Bitcoin. We actually actively vote for the current system to continue.